Hello friends, this video on continuity and differentiability part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 8. Let's take one more example. Here also we have to tell whether the function or defined is continuous or not. In this case also if you see, the point of contention I feel is 1. Because at x is equal to 1, the function change. Correct. So what I can do here also, I can define this in the three buckets. Minus infinity to 1. 1 not included. 1 and then 1 to infinity. Correct. So that means I can have three options. For the c, c is uh, less than 1 c is equal to 1 and c is greater than 1. So in three cases I have to find that the function is continuous in these three buckets. So the first bucket is case 1 and c is less than 1. For c less than 1 I can see that this function is again a polynomial function and I know it is continuous because uh, polynomial function is continuous. So this guy is continuous in this range. Case 2. Case 3 also you will find is continuous because this will be again a polynomial function. So let's take case 2 now. Case 2 we don't know whether the left hand limit and the right hand limit are the same or not. Whether the limit exists or not itself we don't know. So let's find out. Let's get the left hand limit. This guy will be limit x tends to 1 minus fx. So that is we can take f of 1 minus 0 0.0001 or any value that is near to 1 but less than 1. The moment I am taking what less than 1 I will take this guy. So this becomes because this equation is less than 1. So this becomes 1 minus 0 0.0001 plus 5. Correct? And this is almost equal to 1 plus 5, that is 6. So my left hand limit is 6 for this guy. Similarly, let me find the right hand limit for this guy. This becomes limit of x tends to 1 plus, please note it is minus here, this plus here of fx. That is any number that is little bit greater than 1. So 1 employs 0 0.0001, this kind of value. The moment I am talking about less than greater than 1, I will have to use this function. So this becomes x minus 5, that is 1 plus 0 0.00001 minus 5. This is nothing but almost almost 1 minus 5, that is equal to minus 4. So if you see here, this guy is 6, this guy is minus 4, they are not equal. The limit itself doesn't exist. Forget about the limit being equal to f of c. So I can see that at x is z is equal to 1, this guy is not continuous. So let's say not continuous at x is equal to 1. Let's take a third case, case 3. My c is greater than 1. The more I'm talking about c is greater than 1, I have this function fx is equal to x minus 5. So this is nothing but a polynomial function. Since it is polynomial function, I know it is continuous. So we have done this in the examples before where we have proved a polynomial function is always continuous because the limit exists and the limit is equal to f of c where x tends to c. So this is continuous. So what I've seen is this whole function is continuous at all points except c is equal to 1. So we can say that this function is not a continuous function. Why? For a function to be a continuous function, it has to be continuous at all points. Even if it is discontinuous at one point, for example in this case c is equal to 1, it is discontinuous, it is not a continuous function. Let's take one more example. Uh, this is a different example from the examples which we have solved because here we have more breakpoints. This guy one. There are two breakpoints here. So 
will tell you how to solve this kind of questions where you have more than one big points. So here again we have to tell whether the function is continuous or not. So this particular function if you see we can divide into a uh, lot of buckets because it starts from 0. So if you see 0 to 1 is one bucket. 0 to 1 is one bucket right here one should I should not include because one is again a point of contention then one is again a one bucket because one is point of contention then I start from one two three one and three are not included because three is again a point of contention and then I can say three to ten ten so I can divide this into these buckets one two three four five buckets how I done this guy starts from zero so zero is included 2, 1, but again 1 was the point of contention, so I didn't include 1 here, but I have added 1 as a separate bucket altogether. Then I start from 1 to 3, 1 I have already included, so I can't include now 1 in this case. 1, 2, 3, 3 I didn't include because 3 is again a point of contention, so 3 is a separate bucket altogether. And then again 3 to 10, here 3 is not included because 3 already have included here. And then 10 we include because that's an end point and we can include that. This is the bucket we have got for this kind of equations. Now we have a lot of scenarios. So I can here also I can solve using finding the left hand limit, right hand limit and then finding that is equal to f of c or I can draw the graph. So let's draw the graph in this case. The question say for x 0 to 1 and x varies from 1 to 10. So let me take this guy as 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, let's assume the last point is 10. I have got 1 to 10. For x is between 0 and 1, the value is 3. There is 1, 2, 3, this guy is 4, the maximum value is 5. So, for 0 to 1, 1 included, the value is 3. So, this is my equation for 0 to 1. 1 is included, so 1 is a big block. From 1 to 3, the value is 4, where 1 is not included. So, it's a hollow dot from here to 3. 3 is also not included in this case. Now from 3 to 10, where 3 and 10 are included, the value is 5. So from 3 to 10, this guy, big dot, 10, this guy, you know, dark dot. So this is my graph. Because from 0 to 1, 0 and 1 are included, the value is 3. So I have got two dots here, the dark dots, 0 and 1 are included. From 1 to 3, 4, where 1 and 3 are not included, so I have hollow dots. And then from 3 to 10, value is 5, where 3 and 5 are included, so I have this dark dots. This is my function. So looking at the function itself, I can tell this guy is discontinuous at x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 3. So I have two options. Either I can don't divide this into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 buckets and I know I have 5 cases I can solve them. There also I will find that this is not continuous at x equal to 1 and 3. Or I can just draw the graph and in the graph I can show that this guy is not continuous at x equal to 1 and 3. So if you want I can do that for you. So let's take the case 1, this guy is case 1, case 1 where c is you know greater than 0 but less than 1, right, this guy, greater than equal to 0 and less than 1. So in this case, my fx becomes 3. Since it is a constant function, right, it's a constant function, so I can say it's continuous. The polynomial function, constant function, so it's continuous. In my case 2, c is equal to 1. Here is the issue because the left hand limit and the right hand limit has the issue on it. When I'm saying c is equal to 1, in this case, my left hand limit, if you see x is equal to x1 minus fx, is nothing but 
f of 1 minus 0 0.00001 something like that so this guy is nothing but 0 0.9999 and for 0 0.999 my value is 3 but if I take the right hand limit x tends to 1 plus of fx I'm talking about f of 1 plus 0 0.111 0 0.001 this kind of value this is nothing but 1.0001 and this will in the be in the second equation so this guy becomes 4 why because point 1.0001 is in this range so if you see left hand limit and right hand limit are not same so i can say that it is not continuous here it's continuous similarly for 1 and 3 between 1 and 3 k is 3 c is between 1 and 3 i can see that the equation changes to fx is 4 itself when it is 4 this is continuous right now similarly if I talk about uh, case 4 where c is equal to 3 if c is equal to 3 here I can see that left hand limit and right hand limit may be different so let's again find the left hand limit for 3 minus comes f of 3 minus 0 0.0001 that is 2.999 something so in that case this guy will become in this range that becomes 4 uh, limit of x x tends to 3 plus fx that is nothing but f of 3 plus here 0 0.0001 that is 3.0001 and that is in this range so it will be 5 so if you see here also these guys are not same so limit itself doesn't exist so I can say that the function is not continuous here also similarly for 3 and 10 you'll find the function is continuous because for case 4 when I'm talking saying that c is no between 3 and 10 10 included my function is like this right fx is nothing but 5 it's a polynomial function so it's continuous so with this also you can say or by plotting the graph also you can see that the function is not a continuous function because it is not continuous at x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 3 it is breaking here and here also you can see that these two places it is not a continuous function thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.